Mbakwan Pale Koyol Ankoa. I don't know how to speak Creole anymore. I forgot my Creole. So after my vitamin B12 deficiency and going through all of that, I could feel the things that I had learned more recently in my life, like Haitian Creole, because I spent most of my life there, but I really learned that language later on in life. I would forget those things much quicker than my long-term memories. My long-term memories are totally fine, but things that I learned more recently, or just things like, hey, I'm gonna go shopping, wait, what am I trying to get? Or uh, I'm coming into the kitchen, why am I here? Those types of things, I'm like, I can't remember more of the short term. I could tell that that was really impacted compared to my long-term memory. One thing I really noticed was my Creole, my Haitian Creole. That just was not nearly as strong. Like back in 2010, I went through the major earthquake in Haiti. And it was at that time and the couple of years after that where I really learned Creole. I learned it like pretty well, it's pretty, pretty good. But then, uh, you know, vitamin B12 deficiency that hit in 2016. And then 2017, after I got better, I was back in Haiti. And I was just noticing, I'm like, man, my Creole isn't the same. It's just, it's not rattling off the tongue like it used to. And just comprehending wasn't as, as fast. So, and that's because I learned it more recently compared to my whole life. Have you noticed that? Like, do you notice that the short-term memory has been impacted more than your long-term memory? Or what have you noticed as far as it comes to remembering things? If you haven't already, please hit the like button below and please subscribe. I'm here for your vitamin B12 deficiency journey, so let's get you all healthy again. God bless.